Hello, this is Dustin, and in this video I'm going to be discussing the analysis tools in Poker Snowy. Uh, the analysis tools is made up of three categories, hand range, preflop advice, and range advice. And before I dive into what each of these is, I'd like to point out that you can access these tools in two different ways. The first way is coming down to the bottom left and clicking the analysis tools tab and these three categories come up down here. And the second way is actually just right clicking on a player box and then we can access these same tools, preflop advice, hand range, and range advice this way. So now let's get into what these tools actually are. The hand range simply shows the range that Poker Snowy plays in any given situation. So here we see that we're at a six max table and the first three positions have folded and this active player is on the button. And so let's take a look at the hand range for the player in this spot. And this is simply all of the hands that the button can possibly have along with the probability of each hand as well as the actual type. So preflop, since there's been no action, this player has all hands, 100% of hands, and we see that 5.88% of those are a pocket pair and the rest are just any two cards. Now let's say this player actually takes an action. So now this player has raised, and let's take a look at the hand range now. Now we see that the range is narrower because Poker Snowy does not recommend opening 100% of hands here. And so now the probability of having one pair is 15.67% and it lists all of the pairs and um, it lists all of the other hands as well that this player has in this spot. So hopefully that describes the hand range tool. Next, I'm going to simply look at the preflop advice tool. And this is only available for preflop, but um, what this shows is the advice for the active player at the table in this scenario. So the button has already raised, and so when we click on preflop advice, we're looking at advice for the small blind, and we see this grid pops up. It suggests that we raise all of the hands in green. So, you know, if we look at this box here, we see ace four suited, and then the bottom left half of the grid is the offsuit combos. And if there were hands in yellow, then that would suggest that we call. The boxes in white suggest that we fold. And then if there's a box with a color and a number, then the number is the percentage of times that we should raise and the color is the percentage of times that we should do the other option. So for example, here we see king nine suited. Poker Snowy suggests raising 79% of the time and folding since the background of the box is white uh, the, the rest of the time. And of course, these ranges will change based on the size that we use, which we can select here, but the recommended size is going to be in bold, which in this case is pot. So just to show you another way that this can pan out. I wanted to bring up a grid where it suggests calling a decent amount of the time as well. So as you see, the hands that we want to call are simply highlighted in yellow. So I think that covers the preflop advice. Finally, we have range advice, which personally I find very useful and one of the most useful functions within Poker Snowy. Uh, if we click view ranges right now, then this box is gonna come up and it's, again, this applies to the active player. So the big blind in this situation after the button has raised and everyone else has folded. Uh, first, it shows us a breakdown of all of our actions. So we should be folding 67.8% of the time, calling 21% of our hands and raising about 11% of our hands. And then if we wanna look at each specific range, let's say we wanna look at our raising range, i.e. our three betting range here. We can just click raise and we can click suggested action and it's gonna, just going to show us all of the hands that we are going to be raising in this spot with some frequency. Over here it tells us the frequency with which we should raise and of course the frequency with which we should take these other options. And um, by default the cards are ranked by strength but I actually prefer ranking them by the suggested action. So we, if we just click raise pot here then first it's going to list all of the cards that we raise 100% of the time. And then as we scroll down, we see that we run into some hands that we raise less and less amount of the time. And again, you can choose the sizing that you want to use. And of course, these ranges are going to change based on the sizing that you do use. 
So if we choose half pot, you'll see the frequencies change. Two times the pot, frequencies change. Um, and again, the optimal size is bolded. So this pretty much covers all of these analysis tools, but I do want to point out that um, the range advice is applicable post-flop as well. So let's say that the big blind calls in this scenario, and let's just pick a random flop. And so now the action is on the uh, big blind. So again, we can take a look at the hand range, which is all of the hands that the big blind gets here with. And then we can look at the range advice, which suggests the action that we should take with all of these hands. So we should check to the preflop raiser about 91% of the time, and then we should actually bet with these hands listed here at varying frequencies. So I hope this has given you a better understanding of what you can use the analysis tools for in Poker Snowy. Thank you for watching.